The Watauga County Spotlight on Education show is brought to you by the orthodontal and pediatric offices of Drs. Mayhew, Scheffler, Kahn, and Hardaway. Welcome to another edition of Spotlight on Education. I'm David Fonseca, Interim Superintendent of Watauga County Schools. And today with us, we have two very special people that help Watauga County Schools become the school system that we are. So sitting here next to me is Pam Shirley, Director of um, After School Programs, and also Trevor Owens, who is a side director at Parkway School. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Uh, Pam, you've been in the show before and you've talked to the audience and talked to us about the after school program, but tell us a little bit more, or tell us again a little bit about the program. The programs uh, run in the afternoon, just after school, so it's uh, a convenience for parents that we are in the school system and uh, run every afternoon that school operates. And um, then, you know, people like Trevor uh, run the sites and, and keep the kids safe and uh, have great activities for them every day so that they... Uh, can uh, get their homework done and have extra things to do in the afternoon under supervision. Is the program at every school? Yes, all, uh, all the K-8 schools and the programs are for kindergartners through fifth graders. For our viewers, if you're just joining us, this is Spotlight on Education for Watauga County Schools and we're talking with Pam Shirley and Trevor Owens, uh, Director of uh, After School Programs and Trevor is After School Director at Parkway School. Um, there will be a phone number if, in case you're interested about more opportunities for your child in the after school. Uh, the number will appear on your screen momentarily. So Trevor, talk to us about you. Uh, who are you? Where did you come from and what do you do? Yeah, I uh, grew up in uh, Sparta, North Carolina and I moved to Boone to attend Appalachian State University. Went home very briefly, uh, substituted a little uh, math at Allegheny High School and then I came back for a job opportunity at a private school and um, Unfortunately, at the private school, their uh, enrollment kind of dropped and their funding fell through and uh, they weren't able to stay open. And a uh, great opportunity came, at Park, came, came to Parkway and, uh, you know, Billy Hicklin and Miss Shirley hired me on and uh, it's, it's been a great fit. And uh, I can't tell you um, how wonderful it is to drive to school with a smile on your face or drive to work with a smile on your face and just not dreading the day to day, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be uh, at Parkway and in the after school program. It, it really is just a great fit. Well, we have heard great things uh, about you and the program that you're running over there at, at Parkway. Right. So what is the biggest challenge of being an after school director? Yeah, I've uh, thought about this question and I think um, what I'm going to say is being a good mediator between all different sections of the school and uh, being a good communicator between uh, principals who have so much to do and all of our teachers and they're really good about keeping in touch with me with students that may need some extra assistance and uh, and e even on the positive side where they really uh, say hey you know your students really coming a long way from when they first started after school so we try to really be good communicators and the gym teachers and and the custodians and I think that's pretty challenging because you never want to let anybody you never want to uh, make anybody feel left out mm -hmm. so um, and you always want to advocate for your kids. We want what's best for our uh, kids at Parkway. They're so good about, um, and, and I'm sure they are at all the schools, but uh, you know, on behalf of Parkway, they're really good about uh, treating after school is definitely part of the program and part of the full Parkway family and Watauga County family. And um, our kids have amazing opportunities because of uh, the after school program. And we don't, you know, we try to hold pretty high standards and not just when the parents come that their kids are alive at the end of the day you know we we really want them to value uh you know value their time at after school and you know really take it to the next level so uh you know i i would i would definitely say just being a good communicator between parents and everybody involved would be the most challenging where nobody feels left out and the, the kids are getting their absolute best so as you can tell, uh, Trevor is not a person of few words. <laughs> he is definitely an excellent communicator, and we're, we're benefiting from that. Well, I appreciate that. So one of the things that I know our parents that are in the after-school program already understand that we have a rigorous plan, and there's a licensing process that, that our sites have to go to. But for the parents that, that are not familiar with what after-school is and may have an, an opinion that it's just a, a, an after-school daycare, for example, sure. 
you know, talk, talk to us about what the kids do. Uh, when do they come to you? And what do they do during the time that they're with you? Sure, about 2.30 uh, uh, when school releases or may, maybe a little bit beforehand um, to help the kindergarten teachers out. We'll take the students uh, from the teachers and they'll uh, come into the classroom and have a uh, nutritious snack and uh, we'll let them um, talk and, you know, communicate with each other and um, and, and in our program, and this may vary from program to program, and that's, and that's something that's pretty neat. You know, different programs are going to operate differently, and, and I like that. Um, but we, uh, we eat snack, and then we, let the, we have the games out after they're done with their snack and, and uh, play some of our educational games and, you know, just kind of release a little bit. And then we'll call them for a group meeting, and we'll talk about uh, something that I think is very important. We'll kind of review the day and the week so that everybody's up to speed on what we're doing well and uh, things that we need to work on. And I really try to focus on the things that we're doing well and not just harp on things that need to be better. I mean, that doesn't sound like a fun program to me. So, you know, we, we really want to encourage these guys daily. And uh, the most important thing is to tell them that we care about them. Uh, we'll have a homework time. We have the absolute uh, pleasure of having Appalachian State students come over that are education majors and uh, helping out with our uh, kids as, as much as they can and, and we do the best we can to move around and, and uh, help, help children with their homework um, for uh, about 45 minutes to uh, 45 to 55 minutes depending on uh, depending on the day and then we'll do some sort of physical activity and team building activity um, you know at least two or three days a week we'll play like a team building game where uh, we focus on teamwork and working together and uh, definitely physical you know exercise and uh, getting the kids involved and you know every every kid that comes through if I would say something we, we just want to make them feel like they matter and uh, you know they have a place at our table well, we can certainly hear the passion that you have for, for our students, so we thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is Spotlight on Education for Watauga County Schools. And today we're having a conversation with Trevor Owens and Pam Shirley, who are involved in the after-school program. Pam Shirley is the director of after-school services. Trevor Owens is the after-school director at Parkway School. And we have this type of program at every single school. If you would like more information about enrolling your child or more information about what the program is about and how rigorous the curriculum is, please contact Pam Shirley at the number on your screen, which is the number for Watauga County Schools, 828-264-7190. We have about two or three more minutes uh, left in our conversation. So talk to us, Pam. This is a self-sustaining program. What does that mean? Well, that means that we don't get any funding except for the parent fees that we uh, take in from parents paying for the programs. Uh, and donations, so uh, it's very important for us to, um, you know, make money wherever we can, and uh, so that our we can keep our costs low for the parents. Uh, we are just in the process. Uh, on April 12, we will have a uh, family fun festival to be held at Watauga High School, and uh, we're very excited about this and. Uh, it's going to be just kind of like a carnival for kids and families to get out and have quality time together. And we hope it'll be a great fun day. We're going to have lots of games and uh, kind of a carnival type atmosphere with uh, mascots and other things uh, roaming the building. At the same time, we're going to have jump houses. We hope to have some police and fire uh, people out there uh, to show uh, what they do and uh, that always is fun for the kids and um, then uh, that that part of the program will be from 1 to 5 uh, p.m. in the afternoon and then after that we're going to have an auction and um, the auction uh, will take place uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. and uh, so we will have the auction items posted uh, early during the day so that people can uh, come by and see what uh, they want to bid on. We have a lot of great things. Some of the things we uh, can't advertise, uh, but uh, we, we have some really great items that are going to go up for auction. So come by and, and uh, take part in this fun day. Sounds like a great event and it's coming up pretty soon. You have been uh, listening to or watching Spotlight on Education for Watauga County Schools. And again, with us today was Pam Shirley and Trevor Owens with our after-school programs. Thank you for being here, guys. Oh, we Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. The Watauga County Spotlight on Education show is brought to you by the Orthodontal and Pediatric Offices of Drs. Mayhew, Scheffler, Kahn, and Hardaway.